Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study decimals, namely tenths and hundredths. And I intend this to be a review when you are in fifth grade, so these topics have been studied somewhat in fourth grade already. First of all, decimals are indeed just fractions, plain and simple. Decimals are fractions. This particular decimal, 0 0.9, is actually 9 tenths. 9 tenths. The first decimal digit after your decimal point tells you how many tenths you have. This one here, the second digit after your decimal point tells you how many hundredths you have, so this is two hundredths. You can also read it as 0 0.02. This particular one is 0 0.31. And it basically has here three tenths, right? And then here it signals having one hundredth. Three tenths and one hundredth. And we're going to look at this decimal in a little bit more detail. Here I drew a little illustration to show three tenths. Now, if I divide this into hundredths, okay, now you can see that this is also thirty hundredths. Isn't it? So this here is 30 hundredths. This is 1 hundredth. Okay? Now we can add, there's a total of 31 hundredths. So therefore, this decimal here is read as 31 hundredths. Read it as the number 31 here, and then say hundredths, because it has two decimal digits. Okay? If we read it as 31 hundredths or 0 0.31. This one is 0 0.56. The other way to read it is as 56 hundredths. And as a fraction it is 56 hundredths. This one is 2.8 or 2 and 8 tenths. So as a fraction or mixed number we write 2 and then 8 tenths. This one is 5.40 as a fraction or mixed number it is 5 and then this is 40 hundredths. It could be simplified, right? To 4 tenths, which means this is actually equal to 5.4, 5 and 4 tenths. This here, as a fraction, easy, 8 hundredths. This, as a mixed number, easy again, 6, and then 21 here, and they are hundredths, because there's two decimal digits. And here we have 20.02, okay, as a mixed number again, 20, and then we have two hundredths. Let's try it the other way around too, just a little bit. If I write a fraction here, or a mixed number, can you write them as decimals? Okay, you can pause the video and try. Eight and seven tenths as a decimal is 8.7 and this one here as a decimal is 12 point and then there's 5 hundredths, I need to put a zero here and then 5. This one here is showing a common student error. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.7 equals 0 0.11? Not so. And we can prove that by using a number line and making number line jumps. This addition is as if you start at 4 tenths. Here I drew a number line and from 0 to 1 it is divided into 10 parts, so 4 tenths is the fourth tick mark here. And then we add 7 tenths, so we jump 7 tenths. If I jump this much it would be 1 tenth, so I go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 such jumps. Where am I on the number line? I'm past 1 a little bit, 1 and 1 tenth. Okay, so remember this is wrong. The real answer is one and one tenth. You cannot treat decimals as if they were like whole numbers living on the other side of decimal point. Now, we're going to come back to this what I showed you, uh, you here, just a little bit more to cement it in your minds or in your students' minds. Here again is two tenths. I can write it here in my place value chart and it's a little incomplete. Here will be tenths place here will be hundredths place, and this is for ones or units. And so this number here has two tenths. 
and of course we normally write it as 0 0.2 and it doesn't have any hundredths so this is how it's usually written 0 0.2 now if I divide it just like I did the other and just like we talked here this is the same as 30 hundredths this is also here 20 hundredths and I write it as a decimal 0 0.20 right like that we read it as 20 hundredths these two decimals here are now equal in value okay let me write them as fractions too 2 tenths and 20 hundredths they are equal in value if I have the plain decimals I can write it like this in other words 0 0.2 if I tag another 0 after, after this 2 it will not change its value it will be the same value compare it to whole numbers if I have 4 and then I take 4 and tag a 0 on, on the right side of it they are not equal now let's do some fooling additions these kind of additions often fool students they think oh the answer must be 3 plus 5 equals 8 0 0.8 okay or 6 plus 5 equals 11 or oh, the answer must be 0 0.11 or something let's prove what they are using this model here first I will color in 3 tenths so how much do I color? I can't just color this this would be 3 hundredths I need to color 3 columns okay all of this would make 3 tenths then I color in 5 hundredths more now they are the little ones so how much do I have? I have 35 hundredths, right? There's a little trick that I use, like to use with these kind of additions. I will make both the decimals to be the same length, so to speak, by tagging a zero here, because that doesn't change its value. Okay, 3 tenths is equal to 30 hundredths, and now I have 30 hundredths and 5 hundredths, so I just add 30 and 5, 35 hundredths. Here, same thing. Let's say I have six hundredths and five tenths. I can first color in five tenths. I already have a good start here. Remember, five tenths would mean five whole columns here. This is five tenths. Then I add or color six little squares here, six hundredths. So I have fifty-six hundredths. And I can also use my trick by tagging a zero here, making it fifty hundredths. And so it's easy to see the answer is 56 hundredths.